Now, not only is Ellis the face of a new wave of football-based programming, not only is Ellis one of the great Welsh content creators of his generation, Mm -hmm. he is also the man of a billion voices. Um, he can he can imitate one in six people on earth perfectly. <laughs> one, in, one in seven. Is it one in seven? Yeah, yeah, okay. He's so he's the man of a billion voices. Um, and today he's going to read out uh, what's coming up in Five Live in a funny voice. And we've just picked something very close to his uh, heart. So Ellis, today please can you read out uh, what's coming up on Five Live in the style of Dumbledore? How do you, how do you feel about Dumbledore, Ellis? Is that Robbie Coltrane? John? <laughs> well, listen, what it's... do you do with what do you do with him? What should we do with him, Dave? <laughs> Whatever well... will we do with him? No, that's Hagrid. <laughs> oh, I thought you were right. I'm as bad as Alice with right. this. What? <laughs> Sorry. Am I stuck in a studio with two muggles? <laughs> Absolute nightmare. Like, well, you may. Well, I don't know. Maybe. Dumbledore so... is the headmaster. Yes, you're right. Sorry, I didn't. Okay. I know I didn't. Know uh, the headmaster. Yeah, but he's Not a wizard. A, is he a better wizard as well? <laughs> you must know. There's enough cultural sort of. Mileage in double. I'll tell you. I'll tell you exactly what I know. I'll tell you exactly what I know. <laughs> uh, Harry Potter is at a boarding school, yes, which is sort of magic orientated in the hills. Yeah, uh, yeah. But he he's not the only magician, but he's the best one. Yeah, they don't really he's call flawed. them magicians. Oh, sorry. They call them wizards oh, yes, and witches and yeah. warlocks. But he's got his own demons, hasn't he? He certainly does, Dave. <laughs> yeah, he's not a magician. He's not like David Blaine. <laughs> no. He's not learning how to, you know... He doesn't to do card tricks. Saw someone in half. He's not elevating a glass box above Hogwarts. <laughs> Though you could saw someone in half if you accidentally got splinched. Right, OK. That's when you um, try to disapparate, but you get it wrong. I, I'm assuming Robbie Coltrane's character is bad. No! no! Oh, he's well, good, he's good. Hagrid's he's the good. absolute best. Right. He's the lovable rogue. No, he's not. Is he a rogue? No, he's not a rogue. Okay. He's lovable, though. But um, Dumbledore, I mean, that sounds very friendly. So he must be a nice guy if he's the... He's the yes. head of this boarding school. Dumbledore is a nice guy. Okay, who plays who plays Dumbledore? Doesn't matter. Well, Richard Harris played him, and then he died. So then it was taken over by Ian McKellen. No. Ian McShane. No. <laughs> Love Joy. <laughs> no, I was going to say Ian McKellen. It's not Ian McKellen. No, it's is it? not. He's a great actor as well, but his name has escaped me. All oh, right, there's yeah. a John someone. Anyway, doesn't matter. Okay, well, I mean, I haven't seen it and I haven't read it. Yeah, but I'm. I can guess. It's it's a it's your classic. Wiz- Wiz- so magician, <laughs> wizard, magician, headmaster, right? Okay. Michael Gambon. Of Michael course. Gambon. All right, I'll Gambon it up. Okay. Okay. We got, got a bit of. We got a bit of music. <laughs> well, this face ah. is a very good start. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Um, yes. <laughs> come, come along, boys and girls, for a <laughs> magical weekend of sport <laughs> and entertainment on the uh, spellbinding BBC Radio Five Live and BBC Sounds. Abracadabra. <laughs> the Scottish Cup final between Rangers and Hearts is on at three o'clock on Saturday. What a treat. M- Magician Mark Chapman builds up to some... Uh, ooh, intoxicating lotions and potions and and uh, treatments of sport on Sunday afternoon. And, of course, the magical Spanish Grand Prix. Can you throw in a few <coughs> more specific phrases from Harry Potter, please? Oh, you wouldn't want you. Oh, that Grand Prix full of Slytherins as I live and breathe. <laughs> Ooh, is that true? <laughs> yeah. In the, the the pit lanes full of Slytherins and um, that the, uh, yeah, and, and yeah, Formula One. It's the climax <laughs> to the Premier League season, which uh, for me is full of muggles, maybe, and Pep Guardiola, uh, who is the most magical wizard we've had in this boarding school since Harry Potter. Um, and fingers crossed his city side will win the title, which will be very magical. And they take on Aston Villa at four. <laughs> <laughs> Liverpool, of course, are on the same time over on Five Live Sports Extra. And, yeah, uh, some call it Anfield, I call it Quidditch. <laughs> They'll also keep you up to date with scores from around the ground. Sports report follows at six. And my... Um, what, what's Robbie Coltrane's character? Hagrid. And is he his nemesis? No. no. All right, as my best friend, Hagrid, <laughs> savage. <laughs> We'll be on to take your calls with um, 
Voldemort Chris Sutton? Yes. Yes. Now you're starting to get your references. On 606 from 7, finally. Uh, Tony Belly is angry, the podcast. I can recommend it on BBC Sounds. And it's the most magical podcast there is. <laughs> Keep saying magical. <laughs> Good stuff, man. That wow. was very good. Uh, it really felt like uh, Dumbledore was back in the room. Um, and I really enjoyed that, Alice. That's one of your best yet. It's just so difficult. When you, when you have literally zero... Well, I've got maybe four references to Harry Have Potter you not now. read Betty? She found it scary, so we're going to wait a year. She will yeah. definitely read it, but we, we tried bad. it about six months ago, and she, um, yeah, she, uh, she didn't enjoy it. Uh, well, we're talking about what uh, your wastes of money are, which I'm guessing from Ellis is all of the Harry Potter books. Well, we only, only tried the first one, but I'd, I would never re- regard a book as a waste of money. Really? Yeah. I love to read. Do you, Do you really? Yeah, yeah. You just, you just think that uh, literature has no downside? No, I think it empowers people. Mm-hmm. I think it broadens the mind. What a, what a lovely, what a lovely thought. Yeah. Apart from poetry, which I think is all rubbish. 